What is this? What the, oh my. This is how to deal with super steep and super scary downhills. <sighs> Right, I'm here in Squamish, home of all the steepest and the slabbiest rocks you've ever seen in any mountain bike video and magazine. And let's start with quite a small one, but this is perfect for learning how to deal with steep rock slabs. So let's start with body position. You've got a really nice roll into this section here, nice and flat and open, so you've got time to set yourself up. So you'll be coming in central, ready position, middle of the bike, and really looking at what's coming up. And then obviously, as soon as you start getting into this, it's really important to start bringing your weight to the back of the bike. Actually, what you're doing is keeping your weight in the middle of the bike, but just because it's so steep, your front wheel is dropping in. If you stay in the middle of the bike, you're really getting over the bars then. So you need to address that balance. And the real way to do this, the key to do this, is actually just by dropping your heels. If you do that nicely, that's gonna bring your hips right down and back to the rear wheel. I talk about that arc of movement, and I'm really talking about your hips there. On a flat piece trail in that ready position, your hips will be above the saddle. Going up a climb, you can slide to the front of the saddle, but you know, the opposite, going down the steep hill, you really need your hips right to the back of the bike. Think about that plumb line coming off your hips, and that will still probably be over the bottom bracket, but it's all about heels down, hips back, head up. <laughs> There's two important C's when it comes to this sort of stuff, it's commitment and confidence. And that really comes from making sure you know you can do this. And I really recommend stopping, getting off and taking a look at it first, because then you want to commit to doing it. You don't want to be undecided. But also if you roll in too slow, you're going to start maybe losing your balance. So you want to keep those wheels turning a little bit. Obviously you don't want to go too fast because that could cause you trouble on this. You don't want to start jumping off this because it's a really horrible landing. So you want to roll down it, but really slow and you'll find obviously that gy gyroscopic effect disappears and you then might lose your balance and then you're in trouble. And then confidence just comes from doing it over and over, riding steep stuff, you'll get used to it. This does look really intimidating, but actually these rock slabs are really predictable. If you know this trail, this is never going to change. There's never going to be a bit of uh, mud digging out or a new route. It's always going to be the same, so hopefully that's going to build your confidence. Moving on from that commitment that you need as well is also trying to stay relaxed, and that can be easier said than done. This is a really scary section. It's completely blind, it's wet, it's muddy, and of course it's completely vertical. So you've got to keep yourself breathing, staying relaxed. As soon as you start panicking, it's really common to see people sort of hold their breath. And the first thing will happen is you go really stiff on your bike, and that can really lead to problems. You need to be nice and relaxed, moving around, get to the back of your bike, and when you come off this, obviously you then need to move back forward to the middle of the bike. And actually, you've got to keep following the same old rules of riding, so you need to be looking where you're going. It's really easy to start concentrating on this, and actually falling off on this section probably isn't as consequential as actually getting through this section and then crashing, because down there, you've got a really steep bank and all sorts of horrible things to fall onto. Stay relaxed, keep your head up. You need to ride the trail, not just ride this scary obstacle. This section is steep, it's rough, it's rooty, there's rocks everywhere. Something like this, what I want to do is get off again and look at it and actually try and visualize what I'm going to do. So my line, and that really is going to be important here because if I go too far that way, I'm trying to turn across roots. So I've decided I'm going to come to this bit of dirt here. I also think I'm going to have to unweight over that horrible route. Then I've got a wheel size hole and a rock. So it's really a case of visualizing exactly what I'm going to try and do and then doing it. So line choice down there, bit of an unweight, bit of a hop and then get back behind the bike. And if you can't visualize yourself doing it, you probably can't do it. Don't forget that you don't always have to do it. There might be an easier route. Yeah, so uh, just uh, don't really feel up to it today. <laughs> Go this way. The terrain here in Squamish is pretty amazing really, I've never ridden anything like it. But it's really important to get your braking done in the right spots here. 
because you're so far over the back, the bike on sections like this, super steep, you are really relying on that rear tire to do a lot of the stopping. So a good rear tire is gonna help, but really sort of modulate that rear tire and be careful with the front. Obviously any sort of slide on the front tire can get you into trouble pretty quickly here. So I'm definitely easing off the front more than the rear, relying on that rear tire as the anchor, but definitely bike setup is gonna be important here as well. So think about decent tire pressures, maybe lowering them slightly for these rock sections so you can get a good amount of rubber on there. Also making sure you've got a dropper post or getting your seat out of the way as much as you can to get far back on the bike. Also in this section, you're dealing with different types of uh, surface, the trail. So the rock is super grippy granite. So I'm doing lots of hard braking there. This dirt is pretty wet and it's on top of rock as well. So that's super slippy. So easing off the brakes, getting back on when I get onto that rock slab again. Riding that steep, scary stuff, uh, definitely take your time with it. Try and progress in slow, sort of easy steps rather than big ones and then crashing and going back a whole load. So take your time, build the confidence. If you want to see another video to get some more descending tips, click that link over there. Hit the globe to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up.